It's a gorgeous day. I'll get my finger out of the way. It's a beautiful day. It's Monday the 14th of uh, February. And uh, I've just dropped the, my bike off at the bike shop to get repaired because um, I've kind of I've neglected it for a while. Um, partly because, you know, I had that damaged leg and stuff, which is okay now. And then I had this episode of um, where I had to isolate with Lou because we were a close contact. Then, then we both um, tested in the positive end of things. So that added to our um, isolation period. So basically, Lou and I were isolated for uh, two weeks, basically. Um, wasn't too bad, I guess. I mean, I was glad to, look, to get out of isolation, don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, I mean, I had what I needed, food and water and drink. Um, yeah, all those essentials were met. And, um, you know, our place is pretty comfortable. So that was okay. But I never expected to end up being positive and, uh, you know, and having to isolate. I thought I was, uh, I thought I was, you know, um, I was able to miss that, <laughs> duck that problem, but um, it got to me, so. And Lou, of course. Luckily, it was mild symptoms. We, you know, felt, felt a bit fluey, but nothing major. I've had worse colds, you know, actually. Um, I've had, you know, terribly sore throats and bad coughs, but this experience was really mild. And I'm, I'm sort of assuming it's because of the vaccines, actually, um, and the booster, so. Anyway, we've been out, uh, we've been out of isolation since Saturday last, and um, yeah, we've been busy, we've been out, we've been to Hornsby, so we're kind of back to normal, I suppose, although I can't go back to work actually until the 21st at local health district um because that's their own specific rule because i haven't had i haven't been fitted for a mask or anything so anyway that's not going to happen but i'll be going back on uh, the 21st of feb <sighs> on happier things i guess audrey our granddaughter has now had uh, broken through with two teeth uh, she's able to stand by herself independently. Well, she holds onto the tables and stuff. She can sort of walk around very wobbly, but she can stand and she can walk a bit. And also she started to crawl the other week, which is um, another milestone. So we're really happy, Lou and I. And of course, Keith. Um, um, Keith's back to work. Well, Keith's working anyway, so I think he's in Marylands today. So we're doing quite well now, back on track now. I'm back to work at Budgie Woy, uh, my private work, but um, yeah, as I said, the local health district work will be 21st. Um, uh, yeah, that's really about it. I just want to get back to exercising. So with that, we'll just uh, leave it at that. And um, yeah, I mean, if you want to give me a thumbs up or maybe even subscribe, that's fine. Happy with that. Oh, and actually, we're coming to the tree. There's a tree... I don't know if it's got the flowers. Oh no, it hasn't got the flowers. Okay, there was that tree that got so many views. Oh my god, it was like seventy thousand or something, or eighty thousand even. I can't remember now. Views of a tree, but the tree. I'm just coming up to the tree, but the purple flowers aren't aren't out. Uh, I think they just come out around the winter time or the colder months for sure. Um, I think you can see me. Um, I'll, I'll, you'll see the tree just there. You go, just behind me now. But anyway, that got so many views. Oh, God. Anyway, I'll check the mail and uh, I'll sign off. Have a great day, everybody.